Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? <coughs> um, well, like yesterday. Mm -hmm. I haven't I haven't gotten anything good. Yeah, you sound the same. Yes, yes, because I have to go to the backs and then receive the air conditioner. Mm -hmm. That is why I don't I don't feel the um, they're getting better. Mm -hmm. I cannot experiment that yet. But anyway, here I am. Okay. But, you know, the important is you're not getting worse, so. No, no. Imagine you were getting worse. That would be terrible. Oh, yes. Well, I mean, sometime... In, and in, during the day, I feel bad. When I just have a, a le left the bank, I feel very bad. But then when I go to the to the car, and, and the car is, is so um, warm, mm -hmm. it, 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 it makes me feel better. Okay. Yes. So you just have to stay away from air conditionings and things like that. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. I have to. I have to. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for connecting. I see we have many people already. Uh, great. Remember, if you cannot participate, only put at the beginning of your name, Oyente, and then I everybody knows that you are having issues or something is happening and you can't connect. Today, we're going to go ahead and continue. We are finishing up um, the two other types of questions. Um, remember, yesterday we practiced a little bit about vocabulary and reference questions. So before we continue with today's topic, let's take a look at reviewing vocabulary questions. Remember, vocabulary questions are a little bit more difficult in the aspect that you don't necessarily get the information from the context is more of if you know or don't know the words or have an idea. So remember, what is the technique? Always try to use the words that we have in common. Not always you're going to have the right pronunciation, but it doesn't matter because in this exam, it's not about pronunciation. It's about comprehensions, right? So when you look at the words and you say, oh, I'm not sure, try to make a analysis and try to see if you can get closest in meaning to Spanish or another word that you have an idea of. Okay. That's for the vocabulary. Remember vocabulary highlighted, and then you choose the word closest in meaning to, or the word that has a similar context. Okay. In the relative, sorry, in the reference questions, the reference questions is they're usually going to give you a pronoun, this, that, these, those, uh, the students, the, the people, the all of these types of things. And with that, it's always very important to at least read the sentence before. That way you have a good grasp of what is happening. So what is the idea? Super easy. Vocabulary, you don't have to read all of the paragraph. Oh, sorry, guys. It's a big storm coming to here. So maybe it's going to be difficult for you to hear me. <clears throat> and then vocabulary, only it's necessary to make sure that you understand the words. You don't have to read all of it. But reference questions, yes, it's necessary to read at least the sentence before. And today we're going to go with sentence simplification and insert questions. Remember, insert question is necessary. Read everything because you need to have the context where to put Sentence simplification is only necessary is how do you put this without changing the meaning into a, the same idea with just having the organizations, okay? okay? At this time, do you have any questions? Not no. No. Okay, great. So that means that in this moment, we're going to start off a little bit. Let's watch one more time sentence simplification video to help us remember before we begin. 
okay? So let's review one more time how to answer it and the different techniques. Hi, we're still going inside the TOEFL reading section, especially the sentence simplification questions. Simplification questions. Simplification questions ask you to identify a sentence that has essentially the same meaning as a sentence from the reading passage. The correct answer choice contains the main ideas from the sentence in the passage, but may leave out minor or unimportant details. It should restate the most important information in a simpler way. Sentence simplification questions are easy to recognize because the wording of the question is always exactly the same. Which of the sentences below best expresses the essential information in the following sentence? Incorrect choices, change the meaning in important ways, or leave out essential information. The highlighted sentence will have both essential and non-essential information. Your job is to pick the answer choice that best includes the essential information and leaves out the non-essential information. Answering this type of question will require you to understand the relationship between the pieces of information in the sentence. Often, there's an important cause-effect relationship, or there may be a conclusion based on some evidence. So look for those same ideas in the answer choices. Here's an example of a sentence simplification question from a passage. Okay. So, um, like I say, I apologize because really it, there is nothing I can do. It's all about the rain. But I can, let me double check. Can you guys hear me or no? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Can you speak a, a lot louder? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. I'll try to make sure to speak loudly. So. What is the idea for this? The idea is always take the sentence, make sure you understand the order. What is happening? One and two, in which order? What is the sequence? What is first? What is next? And then find the sentence that gives you the same information, the same order and the same things. Make sure you try to get the best idea. And that's what we're going to do today. Our first activity is going to be sentence simplifications. This is going to be in our text, in the, sorry, in the platform. We're going to practice it and you're going to answer the questions with your partner. If we look at it, I'll share my screen so that we can see. Let's see it. Okay, thank you. Let me put just one person said they're having a little bit of problem with their hang out with their microphone so we'll change their name okay so here we have the sentence original and then choose the best one or the one that is similar in meaning as you can see we have six different sentences take a moment analyze it and be clear for this activity, we're going to have super easy. We're going to go slowly. We're going to have a 10 minutes. That way you have about a minute and a half for each sentence. You have time to read, time to analyze and get, right? Because you don't want to take too much time because you're going to have a lot of questions on the exam. So right now with our partners, we have six sentences and we want to take about 10 minutes for each one. Okay. okay. Are we ready? Yes, sir. Yes? Okay. <clears throat> if you want to, you guys can share the screen. Sharing the screen is available.
Eri. <clears throat> okay. Were you guys able to read the questions? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What do you guys think? <laughs> the letter B. I think in the course when the brain suddenly loss is normal blood supply. This one's kind of hard because I think all of them are correct. Hmm. What do you, Walter, think? I thinking my 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 Oh uh, yes, but the but the answer or the options. Uh huh. Yes, aging is caused by a sudden drop in the normal blood supply to the brain. Okay, and now uh, um the the brain painting is caused. Uh, first we can say what what is the the cause. A sudden drop in the normal blood. Uh, so fainting occurs when the brain suddenly loses its normal blood supply. And the letter B, uh, letter B. Yes, I think that is letter B. Uh, what do you think, Vanessa, or who is speaking? Hello? Okay. Okay, medical quarter. Which promise cures of all existing and even not existing. This year, this is this is has a powerful appeal going to be to the well educated. Okay, the letter B is the correct. Okay. Can you read the number five? Okay. Uh, Mm. The letter C. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. yeah. Okay, let's go the fourth one.
Okay, number two. Vegetarians have been observed to demonstrate gentle behavior toward gorillas. No, 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 no. I don't think it is good. Uh, only vegetarian gorillas have been observed. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Only vegetarian. No. In general, gorillas are vegetarians or not? Mm, only I, they are talking about gorillas. Yes. Uh huh. Which are vegetarians. But there is, is there any, any kind of gorillas that is not vegetarians? It could be letter B. Mm, yes, agree, letter B could be. But I'm not sure. It could be letter B. Okay, let's continue with letter, T, letter three. Let's see what it says. In fighting forest fires, the initial attack crews take a fire line, which varies in, in width depending on the strength and nature of the fire. Forest fires, uh -huh. in fighting forest fires. So uh -huh. the initial attack crews take a fire line, which varies in why dependent on the strength and nature of the fire. Hmm. Mm. Uh, initial of the crucial fire how to vary the fire lines with mm -mm. initial attack crews depend on the strength and nature of the fire to vary the fire. Mm -hmm. The way the width of the fire line which the initial attack cross gave varies according to the strength and nature of the fire. Would be letter C. What do you think about letter C? I think letter C, but I'm not sure it letter B. Okay. All right. Now, our time is up. The 10 minutes finished. But we learned two things. One, you have to make a decision. You have to make a decision. I saw some groups that were only in number four, only in number three. Whether you understand or not, boom, the decision, go, 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 go. Right there. If you only finish number three, la mitad del examen, ya lo sacaron malo. La mitad del examen lo sacaron malo. Because if you have six questions and only answer three, you lost the time. And that add for the next activity and the next activity and the next activity. And then you only finish half the exam. Remember the idea, the important. I don't, I'm not sure. Click, click, click. Then, okay. Let's analyze again. Let's go back. Let's double check. But you already have the answers, right? Remember, you have to imagine that it's the exam. And the exam, especially if you do on the internet, boom, it it, it stops. So uh, on, on the computer, you don't have, oi, oi, let me get one, the last one. No, there is nothing. The computer have the system block the next section. And that's it. If you answer, you answer. If you didn't answer, you didn't answer. So remember, watch your time. And this, in this part, we had 10 minutes. You have to imagine that normally you only have one minute for each sentence. This is only six minutes. And today we had 10. So relax, learn to accept that you're going to have some wrong. You are going to have some wrong, but make a decision 
And then if you have extra time, go back and try to correct, okay? So let's read together and let's see which answers we got correct and which answers you didn't get correct. Let's start off with number one. All right, Yancy, please read number one. Fighting is caused, caused by the sudden drop in the normal blood supply to the brain. Okay, good. So let's take a look. The normal blood supply, which sentence is best for this? The last one, the letter D, the brain faints when the normal blood supply drops. Okay, the brain faints, okay. Do you agree or disagree? The rest of the class, do you agree or disagree? I disagree. I think it's letter B. Okay, you think it's letter, yes, letter B. B. Okay, let's analyze both of them. Let's look at B and D and what is the difference? Fainting occurs when the brain suddenly loses its normal blood supply. The brain faints when the normal blood supply drops. What is faint? What is faint? Faint, uh, desmayarse. Exactly. So let's analyze letter D. The brain faints. Is logical? No, no. The letter B. The when, letter of B. course, when the brain sounded okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, exactly. And it's okay because when you are answering quickly, poo, 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 but if you are not sure, always go back, right? Always go back. Number two, who's going to read number two? Okay, Nicole, read. Uh -huh. Or Irena, Irena, go ahead. Yes, teacher. Uh, gorillas, which are vegetarians, have been observed to demonstrate gentle behavior toward small creatures in the wild. Okay, interesting. So, what sentence best matches that idea? I think letter B. Letter? B. B. No, D. D. Yes. D, okay. Do you agree or disagree with Irena? Even though I have some doubts about letter B, okay. I have sense the, 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 the context for us. I have a discussion, letter B and letter D. Okay, very good question, Walter. Let me explain a little bit. Now, okay. in letter B, it says only vegetarian gorillas. This implication is that there are gorillas that are mm. not vegetarian, are vegetarian, sorry. So here, only vegetarian gorillas. Mm -hmm. ah, this means there are some gorillas that are not vegetarian. But mm -hmm. the original sentence <gasps> says all the gorillas are vegetarians, not some gorillas. Okay. Mm -hmm. But very good, because that is why it's letter... It's letter D, not mm -hmm. some. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. What about number three? Who would like to try number three? I can read it. Okay. Thank you, Nicole. Okay. In fighting forest fire, fires, the initial attack crews dig a fire line which were rising with, depending on the strength and nature of the fire. Hmm, a lot of information. So which one has all of that information? I think it will be letter C. Letter C, okay. What do you guys think? We agree or we disagree? I agree. I yes, I agree. Agree, okay, good, very good. Number four, who can read number four? May I? Yes, please. Okay, medical quackery, uh, which promises cure for all existing and even non-existing diseases, has a powerful appeal even to the well-educated. Okay. Hmm, let's take a look. Which one could be talking about the medical quackery? 
Letter B. Letter B. And while well, the kitty people are for fakers, what is this? Yes, letter B. Yes. It can be letter B, yes. Okay. Good. So even if we don't understand quackery, when we have a comma, it's usually the definition of the word before. So if I don't know what medical <coughs> quackery is, I read the context in the comma, which promises cures for all existing and even non-existing diseases. This is what a medical quackery is. Mm, okay. So always remember that when you see the commas, usually after the word is the definition or the example of what they are talking about. Hmm. All right. What about number five? Who can read number five? May I? Of course, please. Okay. A silver compound has been found to kill the parasitic protozoa that are carried by the drillers that say fly and that cause sleeping sickness. Okay. I don't know what that fly is, but I understand the other thing. So which one would be the best for this one? Fly is a mosca. Correct. Mm -hmm. Mosca, etc. Mm -hmm. So, uh-huh. I think letter D, teacher. Letter D. Yes. Okay. Do you guys agree or no? Yes, I agree. Yes, letter D. Letter D sounds most the most logical. All right. And let's try the last one together. Who can read number six? Me. Please go ahead, Jenny. While working mm -hmm. as a postmaster, postmaster at the University of Mississippi, William Forner submitted the City Seven Stories to magazines. Six of which were accepted. Okay. Which one is talking about the stories and about William? I think letter, letter A. Oh, I hear yes. different different letters. Please repeat. The letter D. Okay, for you, letter D. Mm -hmm. And for me, okay. letter A. Okay, for you, letter, the letter A. The letter A, yes. A. Is better A? A. Okay. A. All right. Very nice. That is correct. Letter A. But we're going to double check just to make sure that we can see all of the answers that we chose. So, as you can see, number one, letter B. Number two was letter D. Number three, letter C. Number four, letter B. Number five, letter D. Number six, letter A. Okay. <clears throat> so it's very good that we have many choices. It's not easy to come and try to do it quickly. That's mm -hmm. why it's very important to practice and practice. Remember, the most important is get used to the pressure of time because it's not normal in a conversation. It's not normal with your friends. It's not normal in the interview. But when you have the TOEFL exam, ooh, time, 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 time. Everything is with time. It's not that, not that you can't do it. It's that you have to do it in a time. You have to do it in a specific amount of time, okay? Okay. Great. Great. Now we have that final type that we're going to practice, which is insert questions. Remember, insert questions, the technique was read all of it and make sure where do you find that information. Here we're going to review just a little bit the video to help us. But remember, the technique or the best way is here you have to read. Here is not an option like with vocabulary 
or with the reference. Here you have to read everything because you have to identify the best place to locate it. Let's go on with the last type of questions for this course. The insert text questions. Insert text questions are designed to show that you understand the logical order of ideas in a reading passage. In the reading section, every reading passage has one insert text question. But instead of choosing from a list of four choices, like with most reading questions, you will choose on one of the four black squares to insert the text into the paragraph. Look at the four squares that indicates where the following sentence can be added to the passage. <clears throat> Here's a sample insert text question. Okay, as you see, we have four places. A tip to improve your reading is to really know your pronouns and to practice matching them to the words they refer to in a text. Here are a few of the most common pronouns that you will see when you read. This, these, that, those, they, them, him, her, he, she, it, which. Okay. So it's always about trying to match. Remember, it's like a puzzle and you have some of the information, but you have to find like a puzzle, where is the best place to put that piece so with your partner as you can see we have several we have four but this you need more time to read you need time to read and to analyze okay so don't worry we're going oops we're going to have a few minutes with our partners remember read analyze and decide try to find things that are similar so that you can know where to locate it or where to put the information it's okay, the technique? Yes, sir. Yes? Yes, okay. yes sir. Okay, yes. perfect. So in this case, we're going to have 15 minutes for the four exercises. Is It sounds like a long time, 15 minutes. But believe me, when you begin to read the 15 minutes, you have to go quickly. You have to go read, analyze, decide, always that. Okay? Yes. All right. Let's start with our partners, 15 minutes, one moment. Let me make the groups and let's go. Irena, are you okay? Yes, I read the number one. May I? Hi, hello. 
Okay. We are reading. I read the first one. Okay. Mm. Pragmatism is sensation. Morris, in free will, it was necessary. He considered to believe in this concept. There D, another pragmatist, John Dewey, Dewey, held the scene through is an instrument of solving problems in most change as the problem is comfort change. Okay, we need to analyze. <laughs> yes. the, the letter B is one of the first pragmatists. Pragmatists. Mm -hmm. What uh, it was awesome. uh, letter B. I, I am answering letter B. Letter B. Yes, okay. I answer. Yes. Yeah. Uh, can you read the order? Sure. <clears throat> First, this one. The artist. The the paragraph we need to insert. Okay, and number two, right? And number two? I'm sorry. This is the... Mm -hmm. This is the... the... Irina? Hi, Irina. Hello, Irina. Well, but what do you think about a, 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 a Walter? I think in letter A, but I need shows letter A only that is it the answer. Mm -hmm. I think it's the letter B. Yeah, it's the, the... Yeah, for me, it should be letter A, <laughs> and for you, it should be uh, letter C. Letter C. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go, go, uh -huh. go ahead with, with, with that ambulance and at the end we will see who, yeah. who are correct, yes. <laughs> okay, let's continue with number two. The second one, okay. Let's go on with the last type of questions for this course. The insert text questions. Insert text questions are ready for this type of questions is to build your vocabulary. Here's a tip for increasing your vocabulary. Many English words come from Latin or Greek. So if you study Latin and Greek roots, that will help you remember the meaning of words. And it can also help you figure out the meaning of words you may not know. Hello, welcome to TOEFL Preparation Course 2. Today we're going inside the reading section. Let's begin with vocabulary questions. Vocabulary questions ask you to identify the meaning of words and phrases as they are used in the reading passage. It's easy to identify vocabulary questions because there will be a word or phrase highlighted in the reading passage. And you will see questions like this with phrases like closest in meaning or the author means. The word X in the passage is closest in meaning to. The phrase X in the passage is closest in meaning to. 
or in stating X, the author means that. Now let's look at a sample vocabulary question. They are not usually words that you can guess from context. So the best general strategy to be ready for this type of questions is to build your vocabulary. Here's a tip for increasing your vocabulary. Many English words come from Latin or Greek. So if you study Latin and Greek roots, that will help you remember the meaning of words. And it can also help you figure out the meaning of words you may not know. This is the one for reference questions. Hi, in today's class, we will discuss a reference question. In a reference question, you are asked what the highlighted word refers to. If it's a pronoun, then you need to identify what word the pronoun is replacing. Here are highlighted words you may be asked about. Number one, subject pronoun, it, they. Number two, object pronoun, it, them. Number three, demonstrative pronoun, these, those, this, that. Number four, possessive adjectives. It's there. Number five, other reference words. The former, the later, one, once, another, other, others. It is important to remember that you don't need a full understanding of the complete passage in order to solve this question type. You just need to study the context surrounding the word. Usually, you just read the sentence where the highlighted word is mentioned, and then read a few sentences that come before it. Let's see an example of a reference question. Let's take a look at sentence simplification questions. One tip to build your reading. Hi, we're still going inside the TOEFL reading section, especially the sentence simplification questions. Simplification questions. Simplification questions ask you to identify a sentence that has essentially the same meaning as a sentence from the reading passage. The correct answer choice contains the main ideas from the sentence in the passage, but may leave out minor or unimportant details. It should restate the most important information in a simpler way. Sentence simplification questions are easy to recognize because the wording of the question is always exactly the same. Which of the sentences below best expresses the essential information in the following sentence? Incorrect choices, change the meaning in important ways, or leave out essential information. The highlighted sentence will have both essential and non-essential information. Your job is to pick the answer choice that best includes the essential information and leaves out the non-essential information. Answering this type of question will require you to understand the relationship between the pieces of information in the sentence. Often, there's an important cause-effect relationship, or there may be a conclusion based on some evidence. So look for those same ideas in the answer choices. Here's an example of a sentence simplification question from a passage. Take a look at it. See how the other ones find the things that are the same. One tip to build your reading skills, which will also help you understand sentence simplification questions, is to look at a conflict sentence or paragraphs and separate the main ideas from the less important information. Non-essential information can be things like examples or text in parentheses or very specific information like numbers or dates. Great. And the last type of questions that we have in the reading section are designed to show that you understand the law Let's go on with the last type of questions for this course, the insert text questions.
Insert text questions are designed to show that you understand the logical order of ideas in a reading passage. In the reading section, every reading passage has one insert text question. But instead of choosing from a list of four choices, like with most reading questions, you will choose on one of the four black squares to insert the text into the paragraph. Look at the four squares that indicates where the following sentence can be added to the passage. Here's a sample insert text question. A tip to improve your reading is to really know your pronouns and to practice matching them to the words they refer to in a text. Here are a few of the most common pronouns that you will see when you read. This, these, that, those, they, them, him, her, he, she, it, which. Okay. Remember those techniques? Watch it one more time just to be sure. Let's go on with the last type of questions for this course. The insert text questions. Insert text questions are designed to show that you understand the logical order of ideas in a reading passage. In the reading section, every reading passage has one insert text question. But instead of choosing from a list of four choices, like with most reading questions, you will choose on one of the four black squares to insert the text into the paragraph. Look at the four squares that indicates where the following sentence can be added to the passage. Here's a sample insert text question. A tip to improve your reading is to really know your pronouns and to practice matching them to the words they refer to in a text. Here are a few of the most common pronouns that you will see when you read. This, these, that, those, they, them, him, her, he, she, it, which. Okay, so now let's double check our answers. Let's get everybody back. Okay, guys, so now we have our best answers. Let's take a look and what did you decide with your partners? As you can see, yes, it's 15 minutes, but when you begin going, we, we already we, are, we already have five minutes and only number one, 10 minutes and only number two. So it's important that we try to get all of them. Let's take a look. Number one, what was your decision? Letter B. Letter B. Letter B. Okay. All right. What about for number two? Letter D. 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 Okay. I hear yes. one B and two Ds. Okay. All right. Don't worry. Number three. Letter C. Letter C. Okay. They seem to agree. And the last one? Letter, letter C. C. Letter C. Ah, okay. Everybody agrees. Only one where we had a little bit of disagreement. And let's it's double check. far more complicated, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> a, little, a little bit more complicated, huh, Walter? Yeah. Yeah. That's why, that's why it's very important that in the first types of exercises, you don't read everything because you need the time. You need the time for more complicated questions. The first one with vocabulary, try to match. The second one where it's reference, only try to read one or two sentences to go quickly. Because little by little, each section, you need more and more and more time. So it's not, it's not the best technique to give all of the questions the same amount of time. It's better to give vocabulary quickly, 20 seconds for each one, and then the next one, 45 seconds, and then the next one, you have more time to be able to read everything. Mm -hmm. but uh, 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 um, and this kind of questions appears in all tests of, of, of TOEFL core, TOEFL yes. exam. Yes. This type of question 
always, always, you're going to have some questions. Mandatory. It's mandatory. 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 They have always these types of questions because the idea is to evaluate different types of mm -hmm. logic in English, not only your vocabulary, not only your reference, your comprehension, but mm -hmm. also remember that the idea for the TOEFL is to enter the university. Mm -hmm. This is pre-university English. Mm -hmm. So you have to have the English, the writing, the listening, the comprehension of high school, but really the level to enter university. So you are between after high school and before university. This is the level that you have to have in order to do it. So they want to make sure that imagine you go to the university class or the study that you understand and you know how to write a document or get the things in order. That's why. Okay. So let's go back and double check. Sorry, almost forgot. You can see number one is B, correct. Number two, we had correct letter D. Number three, letter C, also correct. And the last one, number four, letter C as well. Are there any that you are confused or any that you don't know, you're not sure about? No, oh, teacher, what technique uh, I need to use uh, eliminate I can use in this in this question? No. So try to, to 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 for me it was difficult. Yeah, in this type of questions, Walter, it's very difficult to use the email elimination form. Oh. You can use, but it's a little bit different because in the mm -hmm. others, elimination is you try to find the words that don't match, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. so, you can have an idea here, but here it, the problem is it is the entire context. So mm -hmm. if, if it's talking about uh, the clothing or it was talking about uh, pragmatism or artists, mm -hmm. the entire paragraph is about artists. So you have to be clear. You understand the answer so mm -hmm. that you know which ones you can eliminate. That's mm -hmm. why always, always in this question, first, read the answer mm -hmm. and then read the text never wow. never read the text and then the answer because you have to read it two times because you are not going to remember all of the correct points where to put in but mm -hmm. if you read the answer when you are reading in the moment is this technique walter in the mm -hmm. moment okay this ah is not logical eliminate this mm, may be a little logical Mm -hmm. Must maybe and then and then this can give you a better idea to go faster. Okay. 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 Good. Any other questions or comments? No, teacher, it's good. It's good. Okay. Uh, it's good. Yeah. Okay. Now, don't worry. Today, we're not going to begin the test. Remember, that's the idea for tomorrow. We have the four types of questions. We have the different techniques, but I'm just going to share with you so you understand tomorrow what we're going to do. So tomorrow we're going to do reading practice test number two. We're going to do it here together. As you can see, the readings are a lot bigger, a lot more information, right? More technical. Well, look at this, the little letter, you have to read quite a bit. It's quite a bit of information for each one, right? And then from each one, we have several here, the different, here it's going to be mixed, all of the things that we practice. According to paragraph, ooh, number one, here we go, and then we read for that. Then the other ones, remember, like we say, highlight it, highlight it. Here is where you have to try to apply the different techniques. Here, according to the passage, what is unusual? Oh, look. Refer to the full passage. So I have to read all of it. That means I have to read all, all of No one sentence, one paragraph. It means that I have to understand the full context. Ooh, number four, also the full context. Uh, so remember, what is the technique? Always read first the questions. Because some questions... You can answer, ah, my vocabulary, I know this, boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. Here, I'm going to look for reference, and then I go. 
for me, when I take the exam or when I have taken the exam, always, always, I answer the questions that I know first, quickly, because I need points. I need points. And if I answer quickly the words that I know, I know that I'm going to have three points, four points, five points, guarantee. If I don't know the others, okay, then I read all of it with time. Then I analyze the reading. Then I can go back and forth. I can check. But if you don't answer the first ones, if you don't answer your first points and you go in order, when you finish, oy, maybe you could have had three points, but you didn't read quickly. And then you lost some of the points. So always try to go first in this text, because there are many different texts. Usually they're going to have one text, eight questions, another text, eight questions. So they're going to have different texts. Try to look at all of the answers first and then make the best choice for the ones that for you, you know, and the ones you don't know. Are we okay? Yes. Don't, yes. don't worry. Relax. Yes. I know I know many Americans that they can't pass the TOEFL. Many Americans don't pass the TOEFL because it's academic and they are like many, like <laughs> they, it's difficult because it's not the same speak English than do an exam in English. It's not the same speak Spanish than pass Avanzo, pass the Pais is not the same, right? And remember, so that we have an idea, uh, the TOEFL is the level, one level higher than Avanzo, one level higher than uh, the PAIS. Why? Mm -hmm. Because Avanzo and PAIS is finished high school and TOEFL is entered university. So mm -hmm. one level a little bit higher. Uh, teacher. Yes. Uh uh, once I went to the American uh, embassy to to make an, an exam mm -hmm. in order to, to work over there, but and, and I did a, an ELP exam there. Okay. Uh-huh. And, and it was very long, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and I and I got eight eighty percent. That's wonderful. What did they need? 85. No, 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 no. They they needed 75. Okay. Okay. Yeah. A yeah, little bit long. Uh huh. And I and I and I went uh, four times to to have an interview there, but they told me, um, "I'm sorry. Uh, thank you very much for, for your time, but now we have decided to change one of our elements to the to the position that you you are uh, trying to enter." And, and but then gave me a a, a letter. A, a certificating me as bilingual, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, is when you apply for jobs, you have to be careful because sometimes in the process, oh, we we need to add this, we eliminate this, and we and then it's difficult sometimes. Yes, yes, it is. Yeah. Well, but, at least at least they gave me that that letter. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Well, guys, as you can see, we finish our practice today. Tomorrow, we are going to do the technique of everything, trying to take like a little practice test for the reading section. Okay? Okay, sir. All right. Thank guys. you so much. Thank, Thank you. you Have a good night. See you. See you. Bye-bye. See you. Bye-bye, everyone. Good night.